averaging again about 200 plus cases a day. That plan involves having a field hospital placed in South Yuma County to help the hospital if it reaches capacity. Our News 11's Carmen Valencia continues our team coverage. The chairman with the Yuma County Board of Supervisors says that Plan B is still in the planning phase, but that the logistics of finding a location and setting up the field hospital can be done in two weeks, but finding nurses and doctors can take a while. As the county continues to see a surge in coronavirus cases, leaders countywide say they're trying to stay ahead of the game, strategizing a plan in case Yuma Regional Medical Center hits capacity. He says the county's focus is on those in the ICU. We really focus on the capacity that the hospital has of treating those who have serious in the last three months, all three mayors have been in talks with state leaders, health experts, and the National Guard to place the temporary hospital in South County, where cases currently make up 50% of cases countywide. The National Guard and the health department, the state health department, can mobilize fast and set up a, a field hospital. It's a part of the problem we start Reyes says nurses to keep the field hospital operational would most likely come from out of state. Logistics and getting equipment is still being analyzed, but the field hospital would be an extension of what is available. Care and attention, immediate care and attention that, that you have to watch. And that public infrastructure is already there. Community facilities and community centers, those are not necessarily being used right now. Reyes says funding is still being decided. However, each city and the health department has received a certain amount for COVID-19 relief. Reporting in Yuma, Carmen Valencia, News 11. Well, also new tonight, the Department of Homeland Security has once again pushed back border restrictions for Canada 